Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to calculate and solve questions that involve perimeter. Now what is perimeter? Perimeter is the boundary of a shape. So we're working out the boundary and we're calculating the total boundary around any shape. Now here we have different types of shapes. They are simple and we are going to do more examples that are a little bit more complicated than that. Now the perimeter here is simply the outside of the shape. Here all measurements we're going to write them in centimeters. So you've got to be careful in the question you've got to see are the units the same, are they all in meters, are they all in centimeters. It's very important that the units are all the same. For these examples we're going to say that the units are in centimeters. Now also something important you need to realize don't get confused sometimes the diagrams are not to scale. In fact a lot of the times they're not to scale. So make sure you follow the information given to you and from the information you can work out the perimeter. Let's see how it's done. The shape here as you can see is a rectangle. We have two long sides 25 centimeters each and we have 8 here which is 8 centimeters. We mentioned all measurements are in centimeters. So we're going to work out the perimeter. Now the perimeter P for perimeter is the boundary. It's the total boundary around a shape. So here, let's start from the top. 25. We want the total, so we're going to add all the boundary together. We start with 25 plus 8 plus 25 plus 8. We work down the page all the time. P equals to 25 plus 8 plus 25 plus 8. So the boundary all around the shape. We add them together and 25 plus 8 plus 25 plus 8. We have 66 centimeters long. So the boundary of the shape is 66 centimeters according to the measurements that we have there. We add them all up and we write and we always write the unit 66 centimeters is the total boundary. It's the perimeter of this shape 66 centimeters. This shape here again we are working the perimeter which is the surrounding the boundary around the perimeter of the shape. P, we always start from the top. I like to start from the top. You can choose where you like to start. I like to start from the top and go clockwise. That way I don't miss any shape or any uh, side that we are calculating. Starting from the top, we have 6 plus 9 plus 7 plus 5. So here we have 6 plus 9 plus 7 plus 5 and we have 27 centimeters. So the total boundary, the perimeter, the total perimeter around is 27 centimeters. This shape here, funny looking shape, but we're not going to get worried. We need to follow the examples before and we're going to solve it very easily. We have 11 here, we have 6 here, we don't know what that is, we have 7 here, and we have 8, and we don't know what that is. Now, if this is 6, this must be 6. Why? Because we have these little marks showing us that this side is the same as this side here. Two little dashes there, two dashes there, it's a mark showing us that these two are the same in size. So if that's 6, that must be 6. Now this is 8 with a dash, that's also got one dash, now that means these two are the same size, that, they, therefore this is an 8 as well as this is an 8. Now do we have all the sides? It's very important that we make sure all the sides are available before we start adding up. If we miss a side, we have actually stuffed up the question. Be very careful. Now, I like to start from the top, 
P equals 11 plus 6 plus 8 plus 7 plus 8 plus 6. 11 plus 6 plus 8 plus 7 plus 8 plus 6. I double check all the time to make sure I haven't missed anything. Now we can add it up, we can grab our calculator. 11 plus 6 plus 8 plus 7 plus 8 plus 6. Our answer, 47 centimeters. So the perimeter of this shape, the total is 47. We start on the top and we go clockwise and we add all the sides and we get our answer in full. This is basically what perimeter is all about. We make sure we have all our sides and we add them all up. Let's do some more of the more complicated ones but of course if you know how to do these the others are going to be as easy as well. Okay let's move on. We've solved some perimeter problems now we're going to do some more of the more complicated ones. Looking at this one here we can tell that this shape is a polygon it has straight sides we would like to know the perimeter, we would like to know the boundary and add the total boundary of this shape. The first thing we need to look for is do we have all the measurements? If we have all the measurements then we shouldn't have a problem, we just add them all up. Let's start by making sure do we have all the measurements first. Starting from the top we know that this side here is 15, so that, that, that one we already know. Coming down here we have a missing side we don't have the measurement there, so we need to find it. We know this one is 9, we know this one is 6, and we know this one is missing, however it has the same mark as the 9, which means that this is also a 9. Going down here, it's missing, however we can tell it has the same mark as the one on top, so they must be the same size, but we need to find them out. This is 15, and this is 28. So now the only problem we have is we need to find the missing sides before we start adding up. When we look at the shape, I always tell students make sure you look at the shape in total. Don't get scared by thinking where am I going to get the information here. When we look at the shape in total we can tell that the total distance here is exactly the same as the total distance here. If this is 28 in length, from here all the way down also is 28. So from here all the way to there is 28 long. If this is 6, that means from here to here is 6. That means the whole thing is 28 take away the 6, we have 22. 28 take away 6 is 22, meaning that this side and that side make up 22. They are both the same size, so 22 divided by 2. 22 divided by 2 equals 11. This is going to be 11, and that's going to be 11. Let's go through one more time. This side is 28 and here this is the same length. That's 28, that's also going to be 28. So the total is 28. We know that this part is 6 because of that information that's being given to us. From here to here is 6, this is also 6. If the whole thing is 28, take away the 6 we're left with 22. That means this side here, that one there, and that one there is 22 in length. Divided by 2, this one's going to be 11, and that one is going to be 11. So 11 plus 6 plus 11 make up the total 28. So we are now on the right track. We have 15 plus 11 plus 9 plus 6 plus 9 plus 11, plus 15, plus 28. Now we can start adding them up. P 
P for perimeter. We start adding up. I like to start from the top and go clockwise. 15 plus 11 plus 9 plus 6 plus 9 plus 11 plus 15 plus 28 So 15 plus 11, there it is, plus 9, there it is, plus 6, there it is, plus 9, there it is, plus 11, there, plus 15, there, plus 28, there it is. Now we have all the sides, so now we are on the right track, we can grab our calculator and we can start adding up. 15 plus 11 plus 9 plus 6 plus 9, plus 11, plus 15, plus 28. Our answer, 104 centimeters long. So our total answer is 104 centimeters. So the whole boundary of this shape all around is 104. Now as you can see, the adding is simple. The only issue is to make sure we find all the missing sides. We look at the shape in total and we look and we look for clues how we can find our missing sides. As you can see, we found the missing sides and then we added them up all together and we got our final answer. Perimeter is 104 and we always write our units centimeters in this case. Looking down here, on this shape, again, it's straight sides. It has a 12 on top. This is missing. This is missing. This is missing. This is 8. And this is 7. First steps first. Find the missing measurements first. M missing sides. We notice, similar to that one there, if this is total 7, that means from here and there, our number is going to be 7. So we have 7 there, which is from there all the way down, which is this side here, and that side there. This side and that side make 7. There it is. Now we would like to know what is this side here. We know the total is 12, that means from here all the way, all the way, we know that is total 12, the whole way, and this is 8. That means we want to find this missing part here, which is from there to there. If the total is 12, from there all the way. And this section here is 8, 12 take away 8, this must be, this must be 4. Do we have all the sides? Yes, we do. We have found that the top is already available. The total here is 7, which is this side here and that side there. Make 7 because that's the total here. It's the same size on this side. This is 8. The total is 12 because of the top. If this is 8, the missing, the leftover must be 4. Now that we've found the missing side, we can start adding up. Starting from the top, 12 plus 7, the 7 is a total, though this side and that side together, plus 4, plus 8, plus 7. So 12 plus 7, which is here and here together, and 4 is this one there, 
and 8 here and 7 there. Now let's start adding up. 12 plus 7 plus 4 plus 8 plus 7. Our answer 38 centimeters long. So the total perimeter is 38. So here, as you can see, it is not hard, but we need to look for the missing sides. Once we find the missing sides, the perimeter is easily calculated. We just add all the sides up together.